Hi there, welcome to 20th Century Travelers. My name is Phoebe Renner. Today we will be talking about immigration in the 1910s and 1920s. Specifically, policies that were affecting immigration, who was immigrating to the U.S., the cultural changes these demographics made, and big events going on in this time. First, let's talk about policies affecting immigration. One such policy was the Alien Land Law of 1913. This law, based in California, restricted the ownership of land to citizens only. Because of this, many Japanese immigrants were unable to own land. They weren't able to become citizens, since citizens had to be white. Mexican immigrants were encouraged to immigrate to fill labor vacancies during World War I, but re resentment soon built against them for taking jobs. To combat immigration from Mexico, the Border Control was formed in 1924. As time went on, discrimination against Mexicans increased. Another big policy change occurred in 1924. This was the change to the quota law that dictated which immigrants could enter the country and in what amounts. Originally, in 1921, the amount that could immigrate was 3% of the population that was already in the U.S. In 1924, it changed to 2%, um, but they were basing these populations off of the 1890 census instead of the most recent one, which severely restricted the amount that could commit. There are a few different groups coming in during the 1910s and 1920s. Over 100,000 Europeans immigrated between 1910 and 1920. One of the main immigrant groups at the time were Jewish immigrants from the Soviet Union. Another big immigrant group was Mexicans. At this point in time, Jewish immigrants had children who are now second generation Jewish Americans. These children had many more opportunities for bettering their lives, but um, there was still discrimination that they faced. At this point in time, Jewish immigrants had children who are now second generation Jewish Americans. These children had many more opportunities for a better education, especially if they were men. By 1920, one fourth of Harvard's student population was Jewish, but this led to a lot of discrimination, which eventually caused admission requirements to be changed. These requirements focused less on GPA and instead on being a well-rounded student, and also required applicants to submit a picture of themselves because people thought that they could tell if someone was Jewish just by looking at them. While there, they were no longer immigrating at the time, African Americans were making changes in the community and culture around them while still being considered outsiders by white America. During World War I, uh, many white laborers were joining the army, leaving labor shortages in their wake. Because of this, recruiters went to the south and um, brought in African Americans to the north to fill labor shortages. So between 1914 and 1920, 87,000 blacks moved into Harlem, one of the biggest neighborhoods in New York City. They often lived in overcrowded apartments which landlords didn't take care of. During the 1910s and 1920s, many big events were happening, most of which adversely affected immigrants. The first of these was the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire. On March 25th, 1911, a fire started in the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory. There were insufficient fire exits and it was overcrowded, causing 146 women and girls to die in the fire, most of which were Italian or Jewish. They died either from smoke inhalation or from jumping from the ninth floor to try and escape the inferno. So yeah, that's fun. Roughly a year later, on April 14th, 1912, the Titanic hit an iceberg and sank. In total, 1,507 people died and only 706 people survived. Many of those that died were trapped below decks in third-class accommodations. Those who fell into this category were often immigrants and disadvantaged groups. On June 28, 1914, Austrian Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated. As the alliance spiraled out of control, many countries in Europe, as well as the USA, all got involved. Due to this, immigration to the US dramatically decreased, since it was no longer safe to travel here. 
Another reason for the decrease was the distrust of immigrants in the U.S. While it didn't affect immigrants too much, Prohibition was another important event in the 1920s. On January 16, 1919, the 18th Amendment passed, which outlawed the manufacture, sale, and distribution of liquor. So, we covered a great deal of information in this video, including the policies that affected immigration, most substantially the Jewish immigrants, um, through the Immigration Act of 1924, who all was coming in, the cultural changes that these demographics caused, and some big events that affected immigration. Thank you for watching 20th Century Travelers. In the next video, you will see how issues with Mexicans and the Great Depression carried over into the 30s and 40s as well.